I'm gonna be direct with y'all. Uh, I done been hearing that Bill Barr is seeking the death penalty for me, and that's probably primarily because he's trying to cover up all the constitutional violations he did in investigating me. And he's probably going, no, that's not true. It's not like you're, you're the person that can start shouting about the Austin bomber after the excuses wear off. All right, so let me get this straight. Y'all are seeking the death penalty for me because I used free speech. No matter what you think about my free speech, oh, he's crazy, he said this, he said this. Oh, no, no, actually, we're, we're seeking the death penalty because he sells drugs that he's never seen in his entire life. He's never touched the drugs. The most drugs he's seen is like that much. So, um, are, are, what, what are you seeking the death penalty for? Is it for the, the, the accusations I made against Bill Barr's Justice Department? That they, they completely threw out the wiretap act and they got real concerned? My understanding is that, okay, during Hillary Clinton's campaign, what happened is the FBI reopens this case into Hillary Clinton to, right, right towards the end, right? And I'm on, I'm on the Internet. And I said, well, they wouldn't reopen the case unless they had evidence because they're computer people and a computer per person knows grep and knows how to use some of these computer programs that can, 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 can or, or what is it, which, which one's, diff? Yeah, um, they know how to use Linux. And in Linux, you have computer programs built into this operating system. And what I said is they can find the emails they haven't read real quick and they can, they can get to the ones that they need to read. And so the FBI wouldn't open up the investigation unless they did that. And I also might have caused some problems with Hillary Clinton because I took international law class. And I feel like there's nothing worse for Bill Barr than me taking law. You have to understand, these lawyers, if there's anything that, that lets you know the American government is fascist, is when lawyers get pissed off. Who taught him the law? What is this? No, no, I swear to God, I swear to God, that is, I, I can imagine that word, those words coming out of Hillary Clinton's mouth. I'm just saying. All right, so y'all want the death penalty for me. I guess if that's the case, then I want the death penalty for you. All of you. That includes the Supreme Court. Because if there's any group of people that know they're violating the Constitution, because I have a, I have a right to, I have a right to an attorney, right? Like I can actually talk to my attorney. I have a right to know the charges against me. No, we're just gonna, we're gonna, we'll tell them the charges as we're gonna, as we're hooking them up to the machine to die. Personally, I like that idea, honestly. Like I kind of like that y'all are fascists like that. Because I, I mean, personally, I, I've always kind of had this thing. Probably gonna die anyways. Probably that's just m my job, and like I, I, that's that's that, that's the thing I don't think Bill Barr understands that he is not like me. I was born to create revolutionary situations out of fascism, and if there's anything I've ever seen is what he has done to that Justice Department in that long a time, and then he came back and I thought. What kind of balls does that man have? I swear to God, that's exactly what I thought. And you know what? I thought the same thing about Ratcliffe. And you know what? That's why Ratcliffe quit. Because he got nominated, the, the Director of National Intelligence. The Director of National Intelligence is basically the most important spy in the entire United States. Our most important spy in the United States has the most conservative voting record in the entire... He's Sean Handy, apparently, according to what I've read. And... That tells me he ain't no Christian. But let's face it, that's probably a good thing, but that might mean he's a fascist. But I think he might have taught my cousin in law school. So I don't know. We'll see. I, I kind of have this positive opinion about John Ratcliffe. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, I started getting that positive feeling somewhat recently. Anyways, if you're trying to get the death penalty for me, I'm going to get the death penalty for you. All of you.